a crime alert involving personal marijuana plants. It's legal here in Oregon and Washington for people to have them, but that leaves the door open for marijuana plant theft. Let's go to Joseph Dames, who's live now, with what's been going on in this month in particular, Joseph. Well, Jennifer, right now, this month is called Croptober. This is when those marijuana plants are ready for harvest, but they're also ready for the taking. Ryan Bartlett has been tending to his marijuana plants since June, but now is the time for them to be harvested. But there's one problem. I've been growing for years, and it's never been an issue before. Someone stole his plants. I think now with legalization, people are a lot more conscious of what's happening in others' backyards, and, and it just kind of happens that we got unlucky one day. And although Bartlett says this has never been an issue, now would be the moment to watch out. And it's the perfect time to cut the plants down right before it starts raining. So it would be the perfect time to go around and look in people's backyards and, and take what you can get, I guess. With no turning back time and not having control over our seasons, there's nothing he can do. We have to start again next year, basically. There's no catching up this year. I mean, the sun's already gone. You have to start them sometime in June. Obviously, we can't allow several more months to go by and, and reap the harvest again, so it's, it's on the next year. And next year, he will bring more security and hopefully have no issues. Probably couldn't sell it, uh, not at least legally. Um, basically, they get to keep it for themselves or give it to their friends. All right, Bartlett says that this isn't going to set him back too much. He just says that it's scary that someone was in his backyard in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, uh, stealing things. Uh, so he's definitely going to add more security. He's just looking forward to next year's growing season. Reporting in Southwest Portland, Joseph Dames, Coin Six News, back to you.